Hey love, welcome to Lifestyle But Not. My name is Naya Lu and today I am in Brescia. La Piazza della Loggia or Piazza Vecchia, without doubt one of the most beautiful main squares in Brescia. The real highlight is the Torre dell'Orologio with the old astronomical clock, which is a popular place for taking pictures. The Duomo Novo took about 220 years to build from 1604 to 1825, so you can admire different architectural styles like Renaissance, Baroque and Neoclassical, and its magnificent dome uh, is visible from many places around the city. It's really, really beautiful. <laughs> Right next to it is Il Duomo Vecchio, which is my personal favorite. It's truly impressive. It was built in the 11th century in a circular construction. That's why it's also called uh, La Rotonda. And it is the biggest of circular temple of its kind in Romanesque style. Uh, the thing is, the light in there was crazy. It felt really spiritual to be there. And there are many valuable works of art that you can admire. Uh, the, there is no entrance fee, so definitely go. <music> the Piazza del Foro, which was the center of Brescian life during Roman times. The Capitolium, which has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2011, is a not to miss since it's the largest uh, Roman archaeological site in northern Italy. And the complex includes um, the Piazza del Foro, the Capitolium, the Republican Sanctuary, the Ancient Theatre, uh, the Roman Basilica and the complex of San Salvatore and Santa Giulia. We are climbing to the castle for a nice refreshing exercise, activity. And there's a lot of foliage because it's end of November and it looks really cute. The castle was my Brescia highlight. We really loved just aimlessly wandering there. We stayed for at least two hours. The views over the city are spectacular. We were lucky enough to catch a gorilla sculpture exhibition. There were gorilla sculptures in crazy places like secret uh, underways. And nature was, as you can see, spectacular. And uh, you can just stay there an entire day. There are so many places to wonder and see. Uh, the castle itself, the castle itself was uh, built in the 13th century and I think it's the second largest castle complex in Europe. Uh, you don't have to pay an entrance fee but there are two museums there that you can see. We didn't go because we found them a bit pricey. <music> Reserve your ticket to see Teatro Grande, one of the most important theatres in Italy, in advance because we didn't and we didn't manage to go inside, just in the foyer, which looks amazing. The people are waiting to go to the Café de Teatro Grande, but the line was very big. All in all, I would suggest you not to skip Brescia if you are in the area. I think you could even stay for two or three days. We only had a day trip, so we just scratched the surface. Don't miss the 32 meter Torre della Palata in the center of the city. Love, that was it for today's video. If you liked it, click like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. Until next time, bye bye.